but there, there's yeah. an imbalance there for sure i was gonna ask your opinion on bitcoin and um what do you think the future of it is i know that's kind of a broad question but oh I guess yeah to, to narrow it down like do you think it's money? Do you think it's property? Do you think it's just always going to exist? Do you think it's going to lose popularity? What do you think? Oh man, this is going to, this is going to make some people mad. Probably. I got into it with some, with some maxis on Twitter a little bit ago. <laughs> um, you know, I think, I think Bitcoin is a digital commodity and that's great. Um, we need that. I think it's solved and proved a lot of things for the industry. My view is that the first blockchain, even the second blockchain is not going to be the only blockchain that's ever used. Right. Um, it's kind of silly to think that. Yeah. And that was exactly what I said. Um, like, the, and there's a lot of things that need a lot of different uses. Absolutely. Absolutely. And like, like Satoshi, right. He could be a God. He could also be a normal person. And my bet is that he was a normal person and he experimented based off of other people's previous experiments and his experiment was successful. Right. And we learned amazing things from that. We learned um, the importance of decentralization. We learned how to build trustless networks. We learned how to incentivize those networks. We learned, um, you know, we learned like, like, the different nuances of technical architecture. So, so to that point, I think Bitcoin is a digital commodity and I think that's great. And I think it's a great store of value. And I think, you know, like, like relating it to gold, it's, you know, people say like, what's the inherent value of Bitcoin versus gold? Well, it's, it's that it's digital, like 82% of digital of, of, of Americans are, are making digital payments, right? Like there's what, like 11 to 15% that don't even leave their house with a physical wallet anymore. Um, and the point to that is just the world's becoming increasingly digital, whether it's payments, activities, school, like, like, you know, and, and so we need digital stores of value. We need stores of value that are compatible with the internet and that, that mimic the similar properties as like physical items, which is ownership. So, so to that point, I think, you know, Bitcoin's a, a commodity. I think it's great. I think it will always probably be, you know, one or two in terms of the largest assets. Um, but then that said, I think, I think it has its limitations, right? Like the, the, the UTXO architecture makes it great for moving and tracking coins, but not necessarily like account balances. And so Ethereum was the next innovation off of that. It was cool. We've got this really great chain, decentralization, proof of work, whatever it is, worked really well, but it's missing, you know, um, some, um, capabilities here and here and here. Right. And so that's what they did. And now Ethereum, you know, proved decentralized network with smart contract architecture, let people build on top of that. But the cost of security and decentralization is expensive. So now we had Solana, Avalanche, Near, whatever, right? Phantom, and those all did super well um, because they iterated on that and said, okay, great, we've decentralization, incentivizing decentralization. We figured that out. That's a, that we, we know how to do that. We know it works. Let's focus on the speed and cost, right? So, you know, eventually Solana Avalanche and these guys will, will, will catch up on the decentralization. I just like to say that's a spectrum. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think, I think the ecosystem is going to keep developing. And, and whether it's a layer one, a layer two, whatever we call them, ultimately, I just call them application layers. Um, you know, we'll keep having more based on the use cases. And, and the other thing, too, is there's, what, seven, eight billion people on this earth? We can't have all that traffic on one chain. So it's, it's not only eight billion people; it's it, it's hundreds of millions of IoT devices and whatever it is, right? It's, uh, applications. So 